The main media group, a local movie effects company, has defaulted on a $35 million loan. Now the company owes millions more because of it. Angela Cruz is part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast. She joins us live from Port St. Lucie with the very latest. Angela? Jay, good evening. The CEO of Digital Domain, this company that's based right here in Port St. Lucie, behind me in this building, he denies that they are in negotiations or discussions for bankruptcy. He did confirm they're in negotiations with lenders, and he says that it is true the company does owe $16 million more in payments for penalties, but he called the amount owed small. As with every business, we hope to see it succeed and do well. Vice Mayor Linda Bart says having Digital Domain Media Group in Port St. Lucie has been an economic boost. They came to this community, they formed some great partnerships, they partner up with the college. But after the company defaulted on a $35 million loan and filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Digital Domain now owes $51 million and may sell a part of the company. CEO John Texter says he believes the amount is low compared to what the company brings to the area. We. Uh, in my opinion, owe a very small amount of money to the banks versus the value of this enterprise. This is uh, all about a disagreement with a lender. Um, there uh, was no uh, missed payment or uh, financial default. This is uh, about a contractual dispute. Texter says the company is working with a group of investors led by Tenor Capital Management of New York. In the uh, filing that we made today, we not only discussed uh, the ongoing discussions we're having with our financial institutions, but we also mentioned uh, that we are moving forward with solutions. Bart says Port St. Lucie is looking at the city's original contract to review the partnership, but she considers the studio's chosen location as an opportunity for growth. For me, it's always exciting when I see one of their films on TV to see that double D come across and know that that's in our community. Although officials in both Port St. Lucie and West Palm Beach have expressed support for the company, stockholders not feeling the same. Shares have plunged 85% since the high in May. Live in Port St. Lucie, Angela Cruz, WPTV News Channel 5.